Well, in this lecture video, we are going to discuss the concept of convexity in microeconomic analysis. To understand the uh, concept of convexity, let us take an example, right? Suppose we want to produce y units of output and for y units of output, we have two production possibility plans, plan A and plan B, right? This is plan A and this is plan B, all right. Suppose to produce y units of output, we, we need two capital, right? And suppose we need uh, four labor. In the same way, uh, if we need to produce y units of output and we are applying plan B and we need four capital and two labor to produce y inverse of output, right? Now the question is, can we use some max approach to reduce the units of labor and increase the units of capital in production plan A? Or can we reduce the units of capital and increase the units of labor in plan B? Or we can further decrease the units of capital or increase the units of labor, or we can further increase the units of capital and further decrease the units of labor. If these substitutions are possible, for example, something like this, we increase the units of capital, it becomes three capital, and we decrease the units of labor, three labor over here. Similarly, if we increase the units of labor, it becomes three labor, and we decrease the units of capital, for example, uh, this is equal to three capital, right? If these type of substitutions are possible in a technology, then the technology is said to be convex, right? If this is not possible, then the technology is not uh, convex. So this is, this is the background story behind convexity. To present the convexity in standard language, look at it all right this is the convexity if there are two factors uh, input bundles x and x prime this is the first vector of input bundles this is the second vector of input bundles and they are technologically feasible they are in the input requirement set right then their weighted average this is the weighted average this is the weight Total weight is equal to T plus 1 plus T, 1 minus T, sorry. This is equal to 100%. So this is, uh, this is T time X. This is the weight of X bundle. 1 minus T is the weight of X prime bundle is in the input requirement set to produce Y units of output where t is in between 0 and 1. This is 100%. 100% is exactly equal to 1, right? So if you are talking about a percent, so t should be in between 0 and 100. However, if you are talking about fractions, it will be in between 0 and 1. Then the input requirement set vy is convex set. So it means that uh, as we had discussed earlier, if you are using, for example, two units of capital and four units of labor, then you can increase or decrease the units of one uh, factor input, and as a result, you can change the other input accordingly. For example, if you want to increase capital by 10%, so for, for this, you have to decrease capital by 10%, right? If you want to increase capital by 20%, right? For this, what will you do? You will decrease labor by 20%. You will decrease labor by 20%. So this is trade-off between, if you are increasing one of the factor input, right? Factor input bundle, you have to adjust the other accordingly so that the overall weight should become 100 
and your total budget remains intact. So this is all about convexity.